Hi, I'm Frank Bonner with the Toast of the World, and I'm joined by Eric Bailey, the OU beat writer, and I'm the Oklahoma State beat writer. We're here discussing the uh, upcoming Bedlam game. And Eric, what are what do you think some of the keys to success for OU is going into this Bedlam on Saturday? Well, first of all, this seems like it's been just a long time coming for these two teams to meet. Of course, they were postponed earlier this season, so I'm excited about seeing this basketball game being played. Uh, for Oklahoma's sake, it really comes down to, to, to playing better than they have the last two games. They had a lot of momentum going into road games at Iowa State and Kansas State, really had to fight hard to win up at Ames, and then struggled and lost at Kansas State. So I think heading into OSU, what's going to have to happen for the Sooners to have success is they're going to have to find their mojo back. What they had during that stretch leading into those last two games when they were beating top 10 opponents, they're going to have to play with that type of intensity, especially against an Oklahoma State team that's really going to be a tough challenge. Yeah, Oklahoma State, you know, is riding high right now after that Texas Tech win. And I think what's most important for them is when you look at Caleb Boone and Matthew Alexander Moncrief, they played really well for them inside down the stretch. And what that does is it opens up more room for the guard play. And so I think OSU really needs to focus on going, being assertive inside, and that allow for, you know, Avery Anderson to do what he does, um, Kay Cunningham to do what he does. But I really think they need a strong inside presence. And if you're OU, what's your biggest concern, you know, coming in facing OSU? Well, of course, it's Cade Cunningham. You're going to have really, I don't think you can stop him, but you really have to make life tough for him as much as you can. He's such a special player, though. That's easier said than done. And then you mentioned the inside game, something in Oklahoma. They played small ball this second half of the season. They've gone with four guards and Brady Manick uh, in the middle. And uh, he gives up a lot of size when he does play defense. So, and, and, and that really sh uh, showed uh, a deficiency in the loss at Kansas State because they had a hard time guarding in the post. So I think if you're Oklahoma, you try to slow down Cade Cunningham as much as possible. And then also what you do is you, you hope that Maddox can have a good game inside because I know Oklahoma State's gonna challenge uh, Oklahoma's big players in the, in the post. And then if you're OSU, obviously you've got to know where Austin Reeves is at all times on the court, but you also can't forget about Brady Manick. I mean, he's, he scored seven three-pointers the last time they played in Norman. And so you don't want to, you don't want to forget that even when he's struggling, he can still get hot. And so I think those two players are the biggest concern for OSU. And then obviously turnovers, they don't, they can't, you know, get into a game where they force too many turnovers, have those second half droughts that they usually have. And so I think those are your biggest concerns for OSU. And then my last question for you is, what do you think the, the significance is going to be for these teams knowing that they have to play, you know, just two games later? It's really going to be interesting. And it's something where, you know, they're going to play uh, two games in, in, in three days. And you just rarely, if ever, see that. But that's what COVID has brought us. So I think it's going to be a quick turnaround for both of these teams. And these are important games for both these teams, too, in terms of NCAA tournament seedings. I mean, it's going to be interesting to see how this impacts what is going to be in the postseason. And uh, and we asked Lon Kruger that, and Lon Kruger just said they're, they're just excited to play against a really good Oklahoma State team. So it's going to be the adjustments on Sunday are really going to be interesting to see what, what the game's going to look like Saturday compared to what the game's going to look like on Monday. Yeah, either way, I think it would be uh, two exciting games. I can't wait to cover it with you. No doubt.